Hi, hello, and welcome. I am definitely not Lad, and you're watching me bug my way to 2.8k rating on a Retribution Paladin in Dragonflight Season 2. We are currently still leveling, so let's try and get to 60 in this episode. Queued up for a Burning Crusade dungeon, we're gonna Hearthstone back to Orgrimmar. Oh shit, this will actually take me to the Zara lore. I never set my Hearthstone to Orgrimmar, so I need to go take the portal, actually. While I'm at it, I may as well set my Hearthstone here. Hello, Grishka. I would like to make this in my home. Now we're gonna get teleported to the Broken Tusk when we use that. Very good. Oh, and right on time for a dungeon. Come on, Shadow Labyrinth. Give me the Shadow Labyrinth. Well, actually, give me anything that I haven't done quests in. That would be great. I take it back. I'm not picky. Please, tank. Accept. Please. Oh, good. Okay, what is this? Slave pens? We've not done quests, but I'll take some uh, some murder EXP over not getting any EXP at all. Zandalari troll as well. I'm liking the pace of this dungeon. Oh, the priest just mind controlled one of the slave handlers. What? That's gonna actually leave us uh, vulnerable to these uh, these guys. So now I have to kill the slaves instead of free the slaves. God damn it! All right, the dominant mind is about to run out, so we're gonna nuke this guy if we can. Okay, he decided to keep him as a pet, so that's gonna be interesting. Oh, okay, we have a level 10 hunter. No wonder everything's dying in like one hit. Okay, the hunter is getting ready to shoot. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, oh, nice. Very big pull. We're gonna drop our wings here. Actually, do some AOE DPS for once. There we go. That was really nice, actually. That felt like a fun little pull. Oh, wait, how the hell did that, did he? I thought I killed that guy. Okay, we actually managed to kill this guy before 500 of these uh, totems dropped down. Oh, Trader's Noose, that's actually, I got that when I was here the first time as well. Actually a nice upgrade. Holy shit. I can't do that when I'm in combat. Quickly, before we go back into combat. God damn it, I'm still in combat. It's the totem, isn't it? God damn it. And who's healing ward. I want to put on the traitor's noose. It's the one piece of gear I can actually equip while I'm in a dungeon. Can I do it now? Yes, I can. There we go. What I mean by the one piece of loot that I can equip while I'm in a dungeon, I don't put on any gear that's going to change my appearances because I have to stay naked. Obviously, you understand uh, priority number one is to stay naked. Do I take fall damage? Please don't make me take fall damage. Oh shit, that guy was just eating himself. Or gal, I don't know. Heal of Vengeance before the tank can grab aggro. There we go. I actually use wings here, may as well. Hey, these guys are just grabbing the quest. We're going to accidentally pull that group over there. Okay, the tank was kind of ready for it, so that's not bad. Not too horrible. Looking for the fear from the Coil Fang Ray. Gotta make sure I interrupt that, otherwise this could turn sour really quick. There we go, we got the fear. All is well, all is well. Hey, level 51. This is very, very quick, actually. And we have wings for the boss, too. Not that the boss is going to last very long with this hunter beating the shit out of it. Look at the look at the single target DPS that hunter can pull out. I think the only reason anyone's beating him in AoE is because he just doesn't have any AoE abilities right now. Let's go tank, move! That actually wasn't intentional. It's just uh, judgment being really, really stupid. I'm gonna kick that heal, because the other thing that does fears is dead, so I don't need to do anything about that. That was genuinely a, not like an intentional pull. That was actually an accident. So what happens is there's a talent that makes your judgment hit up to four nearby enemies. And those enemies, as long as they're within the range, are going to get hit, even if they're not in combat with you. Which is incredibly frustrating, and that's caused actually quite a few pulls to be wipes in my dungeons because you pull an extra group and a mythic plus 20 fortified <laughs> oh good luck you better have bloodlust for that pull or something i don't know man it's it's really rough i think between the judgment pull that the paladins do and uh, frost death knights those two are probably the most frustrating abilities ever and by frost death knights i mean the one ability where they shoot out the giant dragon breezes everything that that one's as well it's the coolest looking thing in the game in my opinion maybe second only to shadow priest's halo it's really really annoying when it goes off into the distance and pulls like two groups or something in a freehold totally not speaking from recent experience or anything like that no i'm gonna stand here behind the boss nice and safe because when he does his spit thing i can if need be pull uh, taunt him and make him turn around but we didn't have to do that because he just fell over and died because the hunter probably shot him twice look at that he had a kill shot on, and he just did arcane shots and kill command yeah that's crazy it's crazy the hunters can do that much damage then again he's level 10 now level 12 at least it's not a twink oh i'm floating okay now i'm not floating anymore well, I am floating. Actually, I'm flying. I'm not floating because I have wings now. We got two levels out of that. Let me update this thing over here real quick. There we go. And then let's see. Oh, Divine Toll, 100%. And we're going to grab Aegis of Protection. Divine Protection reduces damage you take by an additional 10%. And Shield of Vengeance absorbs 10% more damage. Eh, boring ass talent. But it gives me access to Wake of Ashes and Final Reckoning. So we're going to grab Wake of Ashes first. Very excited about that ability. Divine Toll, we're going to put that on Shift 3. 
that thing is amazing especially once we get divine resonance and we keep casting uh whatchamacallit's judgments it's gonna feel amazing while we're sitting in the queue we're gonna take a look at some armor we're gonna set the filter to level 870 we're gonna unselect all of these other than oh shit other than uncommon there we go and we're gonna search for armor and we're gonna order it by item level we're gonna go from 379 downwards and now we're looking at the prices of these items so the reason i'm doing this is because i would like to see if there's any underpriced items right now there doesn't seem to be any because it is still ordering them by price but why i'm looking at this is because i can actually buy the 379 item that's cheap and then sell it or the full price that it's actually supposed to be for so the reason why sometimes you see uh, these 379 items be really really cheap is because people try to post them and they post them for the same price as the 376 item because it's the same item it's just a different item level but the game doesn't actually register that it's a different item level so it doesn't match the price of the same item level for example if i look at starless breastplate 376 one is 74 gold and the 379 one is 652 gold so you can see somebody making a mistake and posting it for 379 can actually lose a bunch of gold here so what we're doing basically is just sniping these that are underpriced and reselling them that's how i made a few thousand gold i also got really lucky and sold some really ugly transmog of a dandelion but the majority of my gold is actually from that and i've also managed to buy myself a full set of 376 and 379 items for when i hit 70 so that's also really nice but yeah right now it looks like there's oh there's these skyless cuffs 49 gold I'm gonna buy them real quick and then we're gonna repost them for 666 there you go obviously i can't even use them they're mail gear but we can post them and like you can see here 376 items are 49 item level but the first 379 item is actually 666 gold so we're just gonna post that for that price to match the actual correct price of the item level gear and we can potentially flip that from 50 gold to 650 gold ish because the auction house takes five percent so keep in mind if there's a very small price difference you might actually be losing gold because you need to pay the posting fee and you need to pay five percent cut for whatever price you sell it at to the auction house the reason i'm doing all of this instead of just sending myself gold is because i feel like just having the light stone discount that i get for this being an alt and for getting the perks like having the traveler's tundra mammoth and not having to do the quests in dragonflight to unlock the zones and whatnot all of that is just such a massive benefit so i feel like just making gold should be part of this series it just feels like part of gearing your character right because it would be super easy to just go in and have like 100,000 gold as soon as i start this character and not have to worry about a single thing having to buy all these things with gold generated while leveling it was actually pretty fun for me personally and i feel like it just adds to the challenge makes it a bit more interesting anyway i'm gonna shut up now until this queue finds us a tank and we can go and murder more stuff preferably murder things for quest Oh, here we go. Let's see. The Underbog. We're just going to be cycling through the same dungeons, aren't we? All right, let's see how much Divine Toll does. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's that's nice. I like that. <laughs> Things just fell over <laughs> when I pressed the button. That's amazing. I love it, dude. Red Pally kind of busted, huh? Although it is just Lobby Dungeons, so I shouldn't take too much away from that, but... Uh, since my main on my main account is actually a red paladin, I kind of know that they really are busted. The main reason they're busted actually is because they're super easy to play. The low skill ceiling makes it super... Well, I shouldn't say low skill ceiling. They have a decent skill ceiling, but the ease of access to just doing your rotation correctly and the lack of punishment for not doing it, doing it correctly makes the class really, really nice. So if you're looking for an easy, uh, like, melee DPS class, uh, Red Paladin, you cannot go wrong with Red Paladin. Red Paladin's amazing. Dude, it's so easy, I could play it. I think I'm gonna make myself a Weekar that's gonna do, like, a ping noise whenever the, uh, oh, those all evaded. So my hammers went up into the ceiling, but I'm gonna make myself a ping noise Weekara. It's just gonna go ping every time my, uh, Avenging Wrath is off cooldown, so I can drop wings whenever I get it. I like this tank. He's pulling just big enough. It feels so bad. I have like seven seconds left until I can use my cooldowns again. And that's exactly when the boss is going to be pretty much dead. Actually, fuck it. We're going to send the cooldowns here. And we'll make sure the boss dies quick. Oh no, he's healing from the mushrooms. No. No. <laughs> no. Get him away from the mushrooms. Get him away from... <laughs> okay, or just kill him through it. Fuck it. <laughs> Give the tank movement speed. Let's keep going. Where is this DK? What the hell? Oh, he's right there. Why is he taking so much damage? Let's give a land hands to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the tank, Vlad. That's the word you're looking for, the tank. I guess it's because of the level scaling. Because sometimes it looks like healers aren't healing at all, but they are. They really, they're like pouring their fucking heart and soul into it. But the level scaling makes it difficult because it makes it easier or harder to top off an enemy, depend or not an enemy, sorry, a friendly character. 
depending on the level difference between you. Like, I don't know exactly how it works, but it seems like if there's a big level difference between you and your healer, whichever way it is, like you being higher level or the healer, healer being higher level, it always seems like it makes it a lot harder for the healer to top you off. Also, yes, Divine Toll is fucking ridiculous. That's a lot of damage. Cleanse this guy, remove that slow that's on him. I'm not going to give him the movement speed bonus. We're just going to very quickly go over there, taunt those guys. We're going to shield the vengeance. Then we're going to bubble as well, just out of panic. There we go. Tank's right on top of it. We're staying nice and healthy. We're going to give the guy a sacrifice, the tank, blessing of sacrifice. We're going to use our damage reduction thing. I didn't pull one of the groups. Shame on me. I was trying to grief the tank and I didn't even do it properly. Kick that holy light. They don't need to be healed. That was a nice, nice pull. I grieved a bit. Honestly, that was a total asshole move. But, but we killed it, and the tank doesn't seem to mind. He just went and he grabbed aggro, so he's uh, he's an MVP for sure. Sorry, dude. If you're watching this video, I'm so sorry. But it was nice. It was a nice pull. Do I save my wings for the boss? Because all this trash is dying pretty quick. I failed to kick that holy light, unfortunately, but we'll make it work. We're going to accidentally pull that group in the back. We're just going to act like it got chained here. Oh, this is such a big pull. I'm gonna pop wings for this. I mean, this is beautiful. Look at that. I'm just trying to hit everything with all my abilities. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, oh, I'm turning into that player who pulls shit for the tank. I need to stop because I'm gonna develop a habit of doing this. I'm somehow, somehow out DPSing this level 13 paladin, and I think the only reason is because I have mo more ways to generate holy power, so I can actually hit the, um... Oh no. My judgment pulled one of the fishes. I can see the fish has the judgment debuff underneath it. Okay, I do have aggro as well. No, somebody else has aggro. Ooh, dicey, dicey, dicey. I'm looking at people's health bars to make sure that they uh, don't die. Girdle of Gallantry. Oh no, we're gonna battle res the healer. Battle res, battle res. There we go. I think I needed the battle res. I'm not 100% sure. But I really didn't want them to release because then we have to wait for the healer. I mean, <laughs> do we have to wait for the healer? But we would wait for the healer. All right, we all have levitate. I'm gonna jump off over here while I still have my movement speed buff. This is that way I float faster. <laughs> Kick that fear. Stun this fear. It is a long ass stun. I'm gonna try and finish this guy off before he fears me. And of course, he manages to fear me. He traded though. He got a fear. And he got a face full of hammer of justice. We're going to kick that fear that got death gripped. I think he wanted to death grip it so it doesn't get the fear off. Not going to use any cooldowns here. And here I'm going to use my wings and my thingy thing. And we're just going to start blasting. Ah, no. I could have used blinding light there. I didn't react fast enough. I'm just trying to prevent all these fears from going through because they're really, really annoying. Finish that off before it casts another fear. I have a rebuke ready for whoever casts fear. You do. You're going to get kicked. We're going to blinding light that. No, the DK got the kick. That's good. Wasted my blinding light though, so I don't have it for next group. Okay, we have incapacitating roar, but it was used at a time where there was nothing being casted. I'm gonna bubble, because I don't want to get feared. Fuck that. <laughs> I want to keep the... <laughs> you can't fucking fear me, I'm in my trouble bubble. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, it just came off cooldown as well. Give the tank movement speed, he can go in, kick ass, take names, chew bubblegum, everything. Really multitasking, you know, he's kind of busy right now. Oh, our cooldown's going off. You can hear the Divine Toll, which is one of the cooler sound effects in the game. I don't know why I just Divine Stormed one target there, but we did do that. No loot for me, but that's okay. Give the tank movement speed and let's keep smashing. Okay, he gives us a stampeding roar. Oh damn, he's level 55. Oh damn, I'm level 52 actually. Took aggro because the tank went over to the next one. So I was just beating the crap out of this thing without the tank gaining any more aggro, so I managed to pull off of him. Give him movement speed, also get rid of that disease that's slowing him down, which he could get rid of by just shapeshifting, but I get it. You don't want to waste the global. Soon we'll have another set of wings and another divine toll. It's really good to use these basically as often as you can when you're getting used to a new class. And this is, uh, I have enough buttons now to make this class interesting, so I don't mind not having Crusader Strike anymore. That's really nice. That was super fun. I enjoyed this group, so if they queue for more, I'm going to be sticking around. Salvage cache of goods. We got a necklace that's not better than what we have. We're going to put this over here, save it for later. We did get a new belt. I can't put on a belt right now because I can't transmog. Actually, dude, I have the toy. Yes, we're going to drop the toy. We're going to equip the belt. And we're going to, oh, no, not that set. Uh, naked. There we go. Top priority. Got to stay naked. We're going to queue up see if this group wants to stay wants to stay with us it looks like they do very nice very nice everyone wants to stay with us okay we're gonna do some power leveling i know i said this is a pug only series but this is leveling i really don't give a shit if i have a pre-made group for leveling i just want to blast through the levels so i can get to uh actual content in the game we have a level 15 character in the group so we're going to be getting these dungeons that are for level 15 or lower so we're not going to have access to the full pool but that's perfectly fine with me i'm just going to give the tank a bit of time to grab aggro on these guys we're going to use shield of vengeance because i see a lot of aggro bars 
Lay on hands on the tank. Blessing of Sacrifice is still on cooldown. I can't use that. We're going to use wings. We're going to use Judgment thingy thing. I'm going to bubble because I am in trouble. Okay, okay. We've recovered. We've recovered. The healer ca caught up and uh, started healing. And everything's dead. Okay, that first pull is always chaos. But we handle it real well. So this group don't fuck around. That blessing, uh, that lay on hands was clutch. Wow. Moving speed to the tank. Heal the healer with a holy word. Or holy word? Word of glory. Ho holy glory word of glory. Holiness. Yes. <laughs> what am I even saying? I don't know. Okay, ideally here we would uh, line of sight this pole. But uh, tank seems to be stunned, I think. Yeah, he keeps getting stunned by the rogue, so we're gonna grab aggro here, so that the range doesn't grab aggro. They're a bit squishier than we are. Very nice, very nice tanks. Not stunned anymore permanently. Gotta love Burning Crusade mobs. Every single fucking group has a stun of some or some sort of CC for the tank. He has to go loot items, that's fair. Give him movement speed, keep him going. Give a holy word of glory, holy word word, holy glory word to the <laughs> to the priest and keep going. <laughs> I think I had a bit of a stroke there. Okay, we're gonna use Blessing of Sacrifice on the tank. We're gonna use this. Wings, this is a big pull, so we're gonna use everything we got here. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, I love big pulls where things don't die instantly, I should say. I mean, it's not like these are lasting very long, but I also love playing a character that can help other characters, right? Obviously, tanks like my Guardian Druid help characters by protecting them from getting hit but when you're the dps and you can offer something useful to your group like a blessing of protection or a you know lay on hands so your tank doesn't die kind of thing that feels really really good too oh shit we're pulling the whole fucking room okay let's go uh, i don't have much to offer in terms of uh, defensives here we're gonna spam some heals on the tank just to make sure he survives all the bombs went off at the same time okay we have to spam some heals there because there's not much else i can do right now but that was enough that's what we needed i feel like oh no the fucking the <laughs> <laughs> the paladin got mind controlled and he beat the shit out of me god damn it oh man please res me okay okay we're getting rest good 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 thank you man the paladin had no mercy he like got mind controlled killed me and didn't even feel bad about it he's like fuck you i'm not resing you <laughs> you weakling okay okay he is healing me though i think that's his apology well, i'll accept that as an apology and this run is a blast i'm having actual fun right now okay we're gonna use wings Divine Toll. Oh, I'm silenced. I don't like that. Oh, healer got silenced as well. I don't have intercession right now. You're gonna kite. Don't have battle res. Okay, the group's actually surviving over there. I should have been with my group. Give myself movement speed. I forgot the power of lobby paladins. Okay, but the other paladin had a CR. Okay, 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 okay. Nice, 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 nice. That was a bit of a shit show. I didn't handle that properly. Should have just stayed and fought. But I had no cooldown I was, and I was getting my ass kicked, so I just panicked. And I wanted to run away. I didn't want to die again right away. Still going, we're still going. I have Blessing of Sacrifice here for this next pull. Blessing of Sacrifice, Bubble, and Shield of Vengeance. So we have quite a few tools to help us survive this gigantic ass pull that is about to happen. Okay, we're going to give him Blessing of Sac Sacrifice right away. Wants to pull everything, so we're pulling everything. Going to use Shield of Vengeance here. I'm silenced yet again. That's fine. Nobody's getting super, super low, so I'm not going to bubble out of the silence. I'm going to bubble out of this silence, though, because I would like to actually hit things. Okay, people are leveling up, so that's giving us heals, and the healer's healing as well. Okay, that was a bit of a clusterfuck. I didn't do as much damage as I could have there, because I was just trying to see if I needed to help anyone. But uh, we did it. We got it done. Oh, and nobody even triggered that, dude. Come on. What kind of a pull was that where we didn't even pull absolutely every single mob we could have? All of these groups are going to die very, very quickly, so I'm not going to even use my wings on them. Especially, I'm not going to use Divine Toll on them. I'm just going to wait for the boss, and we're going to nuke the boss from orbit with our uh, abilities or our cooldowns. Okay, so they start falling over very quickly once these uh, Paladin that's level 16 reaches them. Because he has the benefit of scaling. Look at the Divine Storm damage right there. I wasn't doing that much damage. He's got, uh, what are they called? Heirlooms. So he's fully scaled. Give the tank movement speed and let's go beat the crap out of this fucking floating eyeball sack of teeth. Divine Toll coming in with the cool ass sound effect. Keep those judgment sacks on before I use my final verdict. There we go. Oh hey, we nice. We got the uh, purple set. Holy crap, that's a lot of... That's a big upgrade. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm gonna put those over here. Laughing Skull Rogue stuns our tank. No, it didn't stun, but it did poison. We'll cleanse that poison. Paladin utility. We're going to kick this so that it joins the group so we can cleave it along with the rest of these mobs. Ooh, this pull coming up is a bit of a pain in the ass. We are going to give the healer blessing of protection here because I don't want them to go for the healer. In case they do, that's not going to hurt the healer. I'm going to use shield of vengeance here because these guys, they will charge random people. And if they try charge our squishies, that might actually kill them. This is chasing our healer. And I, could, I should have taunted it. I didn't realize that it was chasing our healer. DK is going in. He doesn't give a shit about no tanks. Gonna get a kick in once this starts casting the next spell. Because then I want to miss this one. Now he's just going to beat me up. He's going to punch me in the face. No spells from him. Now that he knows I want to kick him. There we go. Okay. We use our 
cooldowns here actually. Beat the crap out of this guy. Get that judgment debuff on him. Drop a verdict on him and he's dead. Doom plate gauntlets. Actually a bit of an increase and uh, finally getting rid of some dodge. <laughs> but I'm not getting anything in return. What the hell? We're gonna queue again because this group is still going. Transmog toy is a minute cooldown so I can't equip these new, new items yet because you know I gotta stay naked. We do get a ring upgrade. That's very nice. This belt is for transmog I guess. We'll just equip it to get the transmog and equip the one we already had. Move the bag over here. Very nice. We have two new levels. Which level am I now? 54. We're going to set that in the little thingy thing. Okay, and there's our Q pop because we have a full group just going in, mashing buttons, kicking ass. Oh shit, is this all the hills around foothills? Oof. I would not be shocked if people just left here. Aw, oh, the tank left. The tank doesn't want to do this dungeon. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the group fell apart. Nobody nobody wants to do Old Hills Red Foothills. <laughs> oh, well. It was fun while it lasted, dude. Ah, back into the normal queue we go. Unfortunate. But we can equip our new gear now and immediately hide it because, you know, we got to stay naked. All right, well, let's queue again. Maybe we get Hills Red Foothills again and then we get <laughs> a full group of leavers or something. Is it a full group of leavers or is it an empty group of leavers because they left the group? Oh, we get finally Wake of Ashes. Awesome. And we're going to get Divine Resonance. That'll increase our holy power generation whenever we use Divine Toll. Very, very nice. Wake of Ashes goes on F. Usually I put heals on F but because you, you can see that. Shift F is Word of Glory, Holy Word of Glory, Holy holy Glory Word. And uh, Flash of Light is Alt F. And my big heals go on G. So Shift G is Lay on Hands and Regenerating, which is the uh, power Passive for Zandalari Trolls is on Alt G, but G for me is going to be Final Reckoning and Execution Sentence because sometimes I just don't have enough buttons on this side and I want the big cooldowns buttons to be on F and G. But that probably didn't interest you. We're going to take another look at our resellable greens while we wait in queue. No armor, but what about weapons? Ooh, look at this one. 84 gold right now, but you can sell it for 3.9k gold? Yes, please. Is there anything else? It doesn't look like there's anything else that's 379. That's fine. Just the beat stick is going to be awesome. Grab that from here. Slap that on the auction house for, okay, 3.9k gold. Dude, if that sells, that's going to be awesome. What else can we check for, actually? Let's check for uh, miscellaneous trinket. For trinkets, we're going to include rare and epic because it's a bit wonky with the upgrade systems. So you see these are like rare quality, but when you buy them and get them in your inventory, they're actually green. Like, take a look at these. The drug bar stones, 376. You can see that the drug bar stones here are 376, but they're blue. Wait, did I buy stones or rock? Oh, okay, good, 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 good. I thought I bought stones for a second and you want rocks. Stones, uh, basically what stones do is when you get hit, you have a chance that your next melee attack will deal an additional whatever amount of damage. But rocks just make your melee... melee LA critical strikes have a chance to draw a drug bar fist out of the ground, dealing blah amount of physical damage. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any cheap trinkets available, so we're not going to be able to resell those. What about cloaks? Nothing on cloaks. Oh, who cares? Let's go into a dungeon. Oh shit, Hellfire Ramparts. We actually need the, uh, I think the helmet drops from here. Hold on, let me look at loot. No, the gauntlets drop from here for the purple set. Not that we need it because we're just going to stay naked, right? But still, if we ever get tired of the breeze, we can go for that. Okay, someone's just destroying this as well as... I remember that name. Did we already play with them today? I think we already played with them today. Maybe in the previous episode or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, this is looking like a very big pull. We're gonna pop everything here. Let's go. That was Wings into Wake of Ashes into Divine Toll. I think I'm doing damage. Mom, get the camera. I'm doing damage. Oh, dude, that's beautiful. Wake of Ashes is already back off cooldown. Oh, keep giving movement speed to the tank so we can keep moving. The, the tank is pulling very aggressively and I'm really enjoying it. Some sort of bug flying into my fucking face. Get away from me. I mean like in real life, not in the game. Gotta go back because there's loot on the ground. Never leave loot on the ground. I was hoping for a boss pull into the rest of the room, but honestly it's probably better that we don't because there's a lot of dogs here and the dogs actually do ridiculous amounts of damage for some reason. I think there's something fucky with their scaling. Alright, we're gonna pop everything here because we're actually fighting a boss. Find Toll. More Divine Storms. Actually, I didn't need to Divine Storm there because there was nobody but the boss left because <laughs> somebody wiped them out. Oh, we have a Resto Shaman, level 24. That's who's topping the DPS, by the way. It's not me who's popping all of my cooldowns and then some. It's the Resto Shaman that used Chain Lightning. I fucking hate playing with the Resto Shamans in the group, man. It makes the group content so boring. I mean, low-B group content, I should say. Right, I'm looking for a fear for many of these guys. I really don't want to let them get a fear through. That would really be annoying. Okay, they're all dead because the shaman blasted him with some chain lightning. 
We have this big pull coming in. We're going to wake of ashes here. Oh, that just melts groups. But I think the rest of my team is melting the group. I don't think it's me, but it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pretend like it's me so I feel useful. <laughs> Yeah, look at that shot. Like, I see Chain Lightning, and it's it's over for these motherfuckers. It's like, they're gone. Fine. Toll, wings, everything, so we can move them. Move them? So we can kill them, is what I meant. But kill them on the move is also what I meant. Oh, dude, my Skyless Cuffs sold. I just saw in chat. So the thing that I tried to flip, I think that was in this episode or in the last one. I'm not 100% sure, but one of the items that I'm trying to flip just sold. So I'm pretty happy about that. Omor the Unscarred. Don't have any cooldowns for him, but it's kind of okay because when he drops to like a low HP, he uses his shield that makes him just absorb a shit ton of damage. Physical and magical damage taken is reduced by 75%. Damn. End of many prisms. Oh, it's 15 to all resistances? Yeah, this is... You can tell it's old content. Because <laughs> it has fucking resistances. <laughs> Here's the boss. Show me the boss. I want to beat up the boss. There it is. Wings, Wake of Ashes. Smack him with a Divine or Final Reckoning. Final Reckoning? That's not what I wanted to say. Final Verdict, that's the word I was looking for. But yeah, that, that died so quick it doesn't even matter. It's level 56 as well. It still says that I'm level 54 down there. Iron Drake Face Guard. That's not what I wanted. I mean, that's cool looking, but it's not what I wanted. It is an upgrade though, I'll take that. What about this ring? It gives me stamina and versatility. I don't really want it. 17 versatility versus all these other secondary stats. I'll just leave the ring here. Open up this green, take a look at that trinket. Oh yeah, that's an upgrade. Oh, fuck yeah. Place that old ass mushroom. Uh, does the group want to queue for more? Let's see if the group wants to queue for more. Aw, oh, the tank has not selected any rolls. I'm gonna try again. Tank has not selected any rolls. Aw, oh, the tank left. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave as well, because I don't... First of all, I don't want to play with the rest of Shaman. <laughs> Second of all, without a tank, it takes a long time to find any group anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, let me take a look at what's sold. Some Relics of Ulduar sold, and some Skyless Cuffs sold. Yeah, 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 look at that, 666 gold. That's the incoming amount. Very nice. So as you can see, you can actually make some gold this way. Okay, so we got two levels, which means I need to update my level down here in the UI. L56, there we go. And we need to decide what we're going to spend these on. So I really want Hammer of Wrath to always critically strike, so we're going to go down Seal of Alacrity. I could also grab Touch of Light and then have this uh, Seal of the Crusader sooner. Because here I have to go through two points, but I also really like having my haste increased and the judgment cooldown to go down, so I feel like this is okay. And I later on I'm going to want to go through sea level accurate anyway, so it's just delaying it by a level and it's not a huge deal. Now on this side I want final reckoning for another big button to push. Basically every minute I'm going to be doing a bazillion damage and I'm going to love it. There we go, it placed itself on G, that's perfect. Let me vendor some of this trash and we'll queue up for another dungeon. Sell the Sanguine Hibiscus on the auction house. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I want to use this helmet. Why am I putting it in the fucking mash? Holy upgrade, Batman. Look at that. 80 item level upgrade. That's massive. Now let's hide it quickly, quickly, or they notice I'm not naked. All right, I'm going to queue up, and while I wait in the queue, I'm just going to quickly go put these onto the auction house. I'm not sure why I waited to go into a queue to sell trash and transmog, but eh. So we're currently at 6k gold, and that's just from selling random crap. I've also spent about 3k gold, give or take, on just buying things to resell and actually buying these that I'm going to use. So I'm feeling uh, pretty good about the gold situation on this character so far. Ooh, finally, that took a hot minute. Almost 10, I think. And of course, we got another one that we've already done, but that's okay. Lots of Zandalari Troll Guardian Druids. Like, I keep seeing these spiky boys. Let's test this out. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that feels good. Nothing really lives long enough to make use of the debuff that it puts on him, but uh, it's pretty fun to use, so I'll do that. Thanks again, Blasters. We're going to give him Blessing Sacrifice while we have our Shield of Vengeance up. All right, this looks like an opportunity to do it. I'm going to taunt the boss because I really want to have something that I can actually survive for a second. Okay, Wings, Final Reckoning, use my actual abilities. There we go, Divine Toll as well. Keep smacking down. Okay, I'm, I'm doing some sort of damage. I'm out DPSing, or I'm not out DPSing, but I'm close to DPSing as much as a level 12 Guardian Druid. <laughs> oh man, level scaling is so messed up in this game. It just makes you feel bad. It, well, at least if you look at the details. Maybe I should just get rid of details for leveling dungeons. Okay, tank is going man mode. Or, or, or okay, maybe he's not going man mode. That's unfortunate. I was hoping for a gigantic pull here. I got excited. You could hear it in my voice. Okay, okay, he's going. He's cooking. Okay, not 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 as not 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 of a big as big of a cook as I was hoping it to be. But you know, we'll 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 take what we can get. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this and act like we really needed to. We'll say it was for percent. 
Just gonna pull everything here. We're gonna give the druid blessing of sacrifice, and we're just gonna go to town on the DPS. I don't have any of my cooldowns available because I used them all on the little baby pulls underneath, but I feel like I'm still doing okay damage. Not doing guardian druid damage, or apparently disc priest damage. Holy crap, what the hell is that? Holy Nova. They just spammed Holy Nova. That, that's what that was. It was Holy Nova. Okay, now here I can't use Judgment, so the, this is interesting. I think I can use Judgment. Okay, I need to stand over here, even though it's right in front of the boss, because the boss is going to do the knockback thing. Okay, well, not if he dies instantly, then he's not going to do the knockback thing. I would love Levitate. If he could give me Levitate, me love you long time. I'll just do this then. Oh, that's going to hurt, actually. Oh, never mind. It didn't hurt nearly as bad as I thought. Use a holy glory word of glory holiness. Word of glory, that's what it's called. Now it's time to go get feared a whole bunch, or I can nuke them from orbit. Like so, wings, ashes. It blew up, and the tank still did more damage than me. <laughs> what, he used like two swipes or something? I mean, it's not like he has anything else to use. I did manage to kick that. I tried really hard to kick that right at the end there, but I just couldn't get it in time. There's a Fenray. I do have kicks here. So I can kick one. One's dead, the other one's gonna try and cast soon. Never mind, he's dead too. We're gonna keep going. We have Wake of Ashes soon. We're gonna use Wake of Ashes here. Ah, oh, I got feared again. Nah, I'm not, I can't, I hate being feared. Just let me play the game. Move moving speed to the tank. Here we go, we got Moonfire. So I can start blasting. Okay, starting to feel like an actual playable class now. Very nice, very nice. Just gonna eat my hammer at this because the tank's gonna moon fire at once and take aggro, so it's no biggie. And got punted across the room like a ragdoll. Not gonna use any cooldowns just for this one mob. We're gonna move. <laughs> He's getting punted around the room again. Let's go, dude. Blast in the DPS. Let's go. Push my buttons. Oh my god, the tank's doing so much more damage than me. It's stupid. <laughs> okay. Oh man, even the the, the freaking Warlock out DPS. Oh, he's level 16. That explains things. Oh man, okay. Well, we're gonna wait just a little bit and then we'll do like a Q request thing. See if the group wants to stay with us. We have a new ring here with strength and stamina. Yes, this gives strength main stats, so always better than secondaries. The green one, open that. We have a necklace. We would lose strength if we got that. A lot of haste and versatility though. Versatility is just so good on a paladin. We got a held an offhand. All right, let's try and re-Q with people. We'll just grab this for the thingy thing. Oh, nice. The tank stayed with us, yay! Okay, since they're lobies, we can only get lobby dungeons. Okay, okay, we instantly go into combat because these guys will, will, like, walk way too close to where you start the dungeon. So when you step forward to take the quest, you inadvertently pull. <laughs> we're just gonna update this before we get started with these guys grab quests level 57. And we're gonna take a look at here what we're gonna grab. We're gonna grab this one. There we go. That's what we'll grab. Very nice. Oh, they're already doing the dungeon. While I'm over here doing talents, I want the big pulls. Give me the big pulls. There's a big pull right there. You did get used to using wings before that. I think I'll make a macro for this. I'm gonna bubble, 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 bubble. Okay, okay, okay. We got the bubble off. Whew. I couldn't bubble because it was on the global. Druid's kind of doing something in the background. I think he's grabbing talents or something. Yeah, he's probably grabbing talents. Whenever you apply new talents, you shapeshift back into thing. I got feared. I really tried to kick that. I didn't manage to kick that. Didn't manage to kick that either. I'm just, you know, standing there trying to kick and not kicking. Bit of a chaotic run so far, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Wake of Ashes, let's go. Between the DPS, I'm sort of doing damage, but the tank just shits on all of us because he's the lowest level, so he can just blast everything with like a swipe and hilltop damage. Wait, does the tank have heirlooms? Because that could explain why he's doing so much more. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, he does. Yeah, that's the uh, that explains why he's doing that much more damage than my druid was doing at this level. I was like thinking about it because the other series that I did on this channel is I did a um, Guardian Druid from, you know, a fresh new account into this. Okay, actually, the boss fight. I need to kind of focus up here. Okay, blast everything. More like the Warlock blasted everything, but uh, I helped, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I was saying the other series that I did on this channel was a Guardian Druid, and I was doing nowhere near that kind of damage. This Demon Hunter has Orgulaze of Azanoth. It means they did uh, Black Temple on Time Walking. Very cool. Okay, we're gonna fucking kill the tank because he pulled the, the dogs and the dogs do ridiculous amounts of damage especially when you're a lobby that's when you're most susceptible to it i don't know why but the the, the dogs are basically bugged out and they just do extra damage kitsuera explained it i think as to why that happens but uh it still makes no sense to me. I think it's still bugged and shouldn't happen like that. Okay, we're just trying to kill the dogs faster than they can kill our tank, and it's working. Kitsuera is one of my viewers. I think they commented it while I was still leveling my Guardian Druid. And if it wasn't Kitsuera, I'm sorry to whoever it was that commented it. I have confused you with Kitsuera. 
I don't have much to use here. Actually, I do have the Vine Toll. Get some damage in before he hits the low low percent point. When he hits low percent, he uh, he just stops taking damage. 75% reduced damage. Ooh, sparklies. Gimme, gimme. Oh, I was just Nether Weave. <laughs> the irony of a paladin called protection playing a holy paladin. <laughs> Very nice. I actually managed to hit both of them with the Divine Reckoning. Or Final Reckoning. I keep calling it Divine Reckoning. And that's the boss dead. Let's see if we can get the uh, gloves that I need from here. Come on, gloves. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Give me gloves. I want gloves. Give me the gloves. I want the gloves. Purple gloves. Fuck. Right, what do we get from here? Oh, we got a Warhammer of Retribution. That's a massive upgrade. Holy crap. Okay, I like that. And we got the purple hammer again. Got to make sure I don't transmog this accidentally because that's going to be a bunch of gold that I throw away for nothing. Speaking of which, I'm actually going to equip these. We'll accept that in just a second. And then I'm going to apply the transmog. I'm not going to apply the goddamn weapon transmog. I'm going to save that transmog. And there we go. And now we accept. There's the Q-pop. Oh, I didn't even manage to put my talents in. That's going to go there. It means I'm level 58. We're going to drop, or we're going to increase this like so. Very nice. I've already done quests here, so I don't really have much to gain. But it says I'm scaled down to 50. I guess that's because I wasn't the one forming the queue. I'm not 100% sure on that, but let's give the tank movement speed and let's get going. We're going to kick this person once they start casting again like so. That will force them to go into melee range. We're going to kick this as well get that character to or that npc to move over towards us very nice very nice keep them grouped so i can cleave i can do more damage even the tank movement speed that'll speed things up we're speed running our way to fucking 60 man i'm loving it hopefully we hit 59 this uh, dungeon that would be very nice movement speed for our tank should really switch the cat form more often Oh, there he goes. Is that a cat form or what? What the heck is that? Zandalari trolls look so cool. They have such cool shapeshifts. And cool Tyran druids look so cool as well, man. Those wicker beasts that they turn into, those look so freaking cool. At the end of the day, it is still kind of just a bear. If it was something else, it would be a bit cooler, but it's still, it's really, really cool. Like just the details on the shapeshift forms look really, really cool. They turn into like a wicker effigy of, of an animal and it just looks so, so cool. Already done the quest here, so I don't have to go grab it. Movement speed to my tank, buddy. Let's go. Again, this is a pug only series, but for leveling, I just, I'm going to make an exception and just regroup with people because I'm kind of tired of sitting in Orgrimmar waiting for a queue to pop. Wings. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have used wings in uh, Final Reckoning here. I should have probably used that on the boss because that boss is a pain in the ass. The Warlock's not going to be able to cast much because of the way the boss works the boss basically puts a really massive haste debuff on you or like a cast speed debuff specifically it's not just haste but yeah we do have some cooldowns available we're gonna use a of ashes we've got divine toll coming up in a second as well probably the longest boss fight we've had with this group because the caster can't cast yeah i out dps the warlock so you know there's something wrong because he couldn't just get anything all of his damage is from the melee damage from his, uh, whatchamacallit, pet. Yeah, he's demonology, so that makes sense, I guess. Not 100% sure. Shouldn't it be demon imps? Yeah, fell firebolt from wild imps is actually not doing that much. It should be a significantly higher portion of the damage, I believe. We have uh, quite a few cooldowns here, so I'm going to go and accidentally pull all of this. Like so, we're going to use Shield of Vengeance. And we're going to use Wings and drop Divine Reckoning, Divine Storm, Wake of Ashes. That'll stun everything, keep the tank nice and safe. And there we go, everything's dead. Ooh, that was a spicy pull. Wake of Ashes coming in clutch. Fuck yeah. I get excited when I can do a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, even though like uh, all of my current viewers that uh, have followed along through the previous series, uh, they know me as a tank. I'm actually a DPS main. I just, I prefer to play DPS. I, I prefer to play DPS when there's a tank that knows what's going on. Like this, this guy, he's pretty good. Should have used wings there before I use that Divine Reckoning. Or Final Reckoning, I keep calling it the wrong damn thing. Divine Toll here, dropping hammers. Divine Resonance is gonna use a judgment on it for me. I don't wanna get feared and I don't wanna get one shot, so I'm gonna use my bubble here. The trouble bubble, keeping me out of trouble. There we go. Did we hit 59? We didn't even hit 59. Things are slowing down with the group. I can't even queue us anymore. But we're so close to 60. Did we just get another one of these? Huh, okay. Yeah, I'll take another one of these. Why not? Not everything I get has to be an upgrade. It's fine. People are turning in quests, so I'm not just I'm just not going to do anything. I'm just going to wait for them to turn in the quests, and then they'll probably queue us up. Oh, no, we lost the Demon Hunter. Oh, shit. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at the environment, like the maps that are drawn here. I was just a bit curious what these like little scrolls were. <laughs> oh man, Jesus, a jump scare. What the fuck, man? Oh, we dropped the warlock as well. It's just me and the tank now. 
No, the tank left as well. I waited in here for no reason. Oh well, it happens. Just gonna queue up anyway, and we're gonna sell some crap. If you're curious about this button, that's from the scrap add-on. If you're curious about any of my other add-ons, you can check my Discord. There's a link in the description of the video to my Discord. On the Discord, I have a explanation of all the add-ons I use, all the weak cars I have are there. Everything is linked. Everything's available. You can also import most of my profiles that I was able to upload to vagoa.io. So give that a look if you're interested. I'm going to go ahead and check again for some greens to resell. Nothing in plate, nothing in mail, nothing in leather. Ooh, cloth. We have some shoulders. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Look at that. It's going to go from 41 gold to 9.9k gold. Whew. Now if that sells, I'm going to be real happy. Glad happy. Truth be told, I don't think anyone would buy that for 9k gold. So instead of it going up for 9k gold like this, we're just going to put it up for 5k gold. I think that's fair. I think that's okay. Mm, 5k gold is still a lot. 2.5k gold. Yeah, 2.5k gold. I'd be happy with 2.5k gold because I paid 41 gold to get them. <laughs> That'd still be a crazy good flip. Okay, let's take a look at the weapons. Maybe there's something there. Lotharic Smasher for 80 gold. Uh, yeah, we're going to buy that. We're going to sell it for 3.9 gonna buy that real quick while it's there i'm gonna check real quick for anything else no there's nothing else that's 379 that's underpriced let's go into the dungeon now oh we're gonna sell that damn hammer come here i'm gonna try and put it up on the auction house while i'm still here waiting for the queue to go through quickly quickly 3.9k Ooh, if these sell i'm gonna be a real happy camper putting up more of these uh, little shitty things that i get while i'm leveling Aw, one of the this DPS didn't accept, but I'm hoping that I get put together with these healers and uh, the healer and the tank again so that I can actually quickly queue. Where the hell did the tank go? There was a tank in the queue just now. I saw him on my screen. He accepted the thing. Oh well. Maybe he was pre-made with the DPS and that's why I put him both out of the queue. I'm getting excited thinking about higher level keys where I'll actually be able to do some damage when I drop this uh, final reckoning on things. Actually, while I wait for the queue, I'm going to make a macro that's going to be show tooltip divine reckoning. And what it's going to do is going to cast avenging wrath and it's going to cast final reckoning. <laughs> yes, it's called final reckoning. So I'm going to go correct this bit. Final Reckoning. There we go. We're going to save that. That should put that right here. We're going to copy and paste that. We're going to make a new macro. We're going to call this one, or not call it, but we're going to do, we're going to call it Execution Sentence. We're going to put Execution. I didn't write that right, did I? Execution Sentence. There we go. And the reason that's not showing a tooltip is because I don't know the spell Execution Sentence, but I will at some point when I need to do single target DPS. Okay, let's enter the dungeon. Have we done this one? Of course we've done this one. And let me guess, another fucking <laughs> Zandalari Troll Guardian Druid. What is it with the Zandalari Troll Guardian, Guardian Druids? I guess they look cooler. So whoever wants to make a Guardian Druid now, which there's a lot of people who want to do it, uh, everyone's just going for that. Okay, we didn't actually put the macro down on my bars, so I'm just going to be an asshole here and not actually play the game. Did I put it down on my bar? I did put it down on my bars. Okay, so now when I just hit that button to put that down, it actually casts Avenging Wrath. So I have wings running for nothing right now. I'm going to drop that right there. Okay. So I forgot one line in the macro. Actually, I'm going to go and do that real quick. Slash macro. And we're going to do a modifier here. It's going to say at. Ah, damn it. When you do at, it actually pastes stuff in. That's so stupid. That's a bug that's been here forever. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Being buggy. At cursor. Close that. Execution sentence. And we're going to copy and paste this bit. Oh, I'm being an asshole in the queue. I'm not actually playing the game. Here we go. At cursor. Final reckoning. And we're going to delete that from here because this is a targeted ability. It's not a zone ability. Okay, there we go. I could have been helping over here, but I got a level for free. So here we go. I popped wings and I didn't use Divine Reckoning because uh, it was on cooldown. I was just kind of sitting there and not helping my group. I feel a little bit bad about that, but at the same time, fuck them. I had to make my macro. I'm joking. Don't fuck them. Unless they really would like you to. Now, if I hit the G button, there we go. I don't have to click again to make it actually cast. Okay, this guy's not holding aggro. That's probably because I blasted these mobs. Okay, this is a relatively high level. Never mind, there's a paladin that's level 11. I was going to say, this is a relatively high level group, and then there's a level 11 paladin that's just blasting. Okay, let's uh, focus up and actually play the dungeon instead of talk about macros the entire time. But yeah, what my macro... <laughs> <laughs> Let's play the dungeon <laughs> instead of talk about macros. But yeah, my macro. <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to say about the macro, I'll, I'll talk about the macro a little bit more. The at cursor modifier, what it does is basically it tells it if this has like a, if I have to click again to drop this thing, drop it at where my cursor is right now. Instead of me having to click and place the zone, it just places it automatically for me right there where my cursor is. 
I'll show you here in a second. Now, see, I didn't have to drop the zone. It just used the ability right there. That was perfect. I'm overcapping on holy power instead of using it, but that's because I'm explaining random stuff. Oh, hey, it's the holy paladin from before. The holy paladin called protection. <laughs> small world, small world. But also a small number of people actually queuing for these dungeons as, at this hour. It's 2 a.m. Staying up late to like do uh, editing and recording for my Guardian Druid series is definitely biting me in the ass. My sleep schedule is messed up. I'm not even remotely tired right now. Hopefully the tank does a big pull here. Okay, now I guess this is a big enough pull for him. I can respect that. He doesn't want to wipe. He's also probably fearing for his life because he's not really getting much healing from our healer. But then again, our healer is called Protection. He's not actually holy, is he? Or I guess there's like a level disparity between the two of them. No, there isn't. Protection's 52 and the tank is 59, so I don't know why the tank is so low all the time. Maybe he's not using any defensives like bark skin or anything like that. That could also explain it. All right, here we go. We used our little macro. Drop it on top of these guys. Not ideal. It's not a big enough pull to feel worth it, but you know, fuck it. We're gonna give the tank movement speed because he got hit by a frost bolt and that was rooted. And uh, me giving him movement speed by giving him blessing of freedom is actually gonna remove the root from me as well. Is have the talent that does that? I think I actually body pulled this. That's my bad. He wanted to skip it. I should have respected that, but I did. It was a body pull. I didn't hit them. I wanted to. Don't get me wrong. I wanted to blast them, but oh, here comes the mage with uh, the arcane explosion spam. Oh, never mind. Shifting power was most of the damage there. I just saw the arcane explosions at the end, then I thought that was it. Don't have any cooldowns available at the moment. Now I do, though. We're gonna pop that over there. We're gonna use Shield of Vengeance to keep myself healthy. We're gonna drop this. There we go. Fine. Toll. Keep blasting. And the mage still out DPS me. <laughs> did we hit 59? We did hit 59. We're gonna go ahead and take Truth's Wake. Gonna apply a dot to everything that we hit with our Wake of Ashes. There you go. We're gonna get started because the tank was ready to pull, so we're good. We're not ninja pulling so much as we're just hitting the boss while we're waiting for the tank to catch up a little bit. Yeah, the tank is just not getting any healing. Look at his health. I guess he is getting healing. It's just not much. Oh, we got a weapon upgrade. And ho oh, it's a very nice upgrade. Look at that. That it's like its lower damage end does more damage than our current high damage end. That's crazy. We're gonna equip that right away. Oh, it didn't even looks cool. Look at that. It's got like a little spell effect, like a little black fog or something at the end. I like that. What's this held in offhand? The torch? It is a torch, okay. It says Misty Reed Torch, but the this looks like a bomb, honestly. <laughs> like I, one of those hand grenades. Just gonna equip that real quick for the transmog, and then we'll equip the weapon back. Where is the druid? There is the druid. Give him some movement speed, even though he refuses to go into cat form. Kick that. Stun that. Okay, we managed to not get feared here. Woo! Oh, the druid hit 60. Very nice. Is he gonna leave the group? Ding! Oh, he left! <laughs> I say grats, and he leaves the group immediately. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna keep going, I don't care. We have a bunch of lobies that are blasting the DPS. We're gonna kick that. I don't wanna get feared. Oh, well, that, uh, never mind. Ooh, I got cleansed. Thank you, protection, holy paladin. <laughs> gonna use divine shield, or not divine shield, but shield of vengeance. Getting heals from our holy protection paladin guy. There we go. We're gonna keep going. We have divine toll ready for this group. Just gonna run forward. We're gonna use our damage reduction. Divine protection, divine toll. Keep that fear. We don't want the fears to go through. Do we have a stun for this? We do have a stun for this. No fear for you. There's another fear. I didn't have time to use my blinding light. God damn it. Okay, okay. We're recovering. We have a new paladin. Okay, the triple, pa the quadruple paladin squad. Holy crap. A holy paladin named Protection. A Protection paladin uh, and two red paladins. That's a group. And an arcane, arcane mage, of course. Lore-wise, and actually, uh, well, at least in the older World of Warcraft books, uh, paladins really don't trust mages. Like, really, really, really don't trust mages. But those are very old books. I'm not sure if that's still the, like, cu current lore attitude of paladins towards mages. Fun lore facts with Vlad. I do actually have a bookshelf fu full of World of Warcraft books. I'm missing, like, maybe one or two. And I feel bad about missing those, but, you know, what can you do? One of them is just not available unless you buy, like, uh, what's gonna call it? Oh shit, wait, th there's a tank actually here. Is there a tank actually here? No, there isn't. He's kind of running up right late behind us. The protection paladin? Is the holy paladin named protection now actually a protection paladin named protection? Or was somebody else stealing aggro from him? You know, he's still holy. What the heck was going on then there? There's Look P over there, who's our new tank. We're going to speed him up a little bit so he can catch up. And here come the wings and the final reckoning and the judgment and the final... Uh, verdict and we're gonna keep blasting it in the wake of ashes and we're still blasting it trying to get as many holy power usages while the final reckoning is down on the boss but was unable to get any more and salvage cache of goods we got a 
chest plate. Is that an upgrade? That is a hell of an upgrade. 40 item levels. I'm going to drop the transmog toy. We're going to equip it. And then we're going to quickly, quickly, quickly hide it. There we go. Very nice. Because we got to stay naked if you weren't aware. I'm going to try and join as party. Because I just need a little bit more EXP. And then your boy is good to go. The mage doesn't want to queue with us. Okay, we're going to requeue now that the mage has left. One more final dungeon. And then we hit 60. And we can go do normal dragonflight dungeons. Or time walking if time walking is active. But I don't think time walking is active. But I just realized I hadn't updated this to 59. Are we 59? We are 59, yes. I need to update my UI thingy to say 59. There it goes. We have a tank and a healer queued with us. Oh, never mind. Tank is queuing as multiple things. I thought we had... Never mind, never mind, never mind. Is this really the best way for me to get this last bit of EXP that I need? I need less than 10,000 EXP. Should I go do quests? Ugh, quests. Ugh. Okay, we have a healer and a tank. We do have two DPS in the queue as well. I don't know why it's showing zero out of three, but I think we're just waiting for a DPS now. So, uh, come here often. Crazy, crazy weather lately, right? <clears throat> I guess we're just going to make some weak cars while we wait in queue. Oh, the tank left. That's rough. And now we need to organize them so that they actually look good because right now they're not centered and that bothers me. There we go. Now they're nice and centered. I like that. And while I'm in here, can I actually just go and kill some enemies and get my final level? Let's see how we do against this group. I'm going to go in, use my Divine Reckoning, Wake of Ashes, keep do dropping that damage on them. My Toll, you're going to go down before I go down. Let's go. Very nice, okay. How much did that give me? A miserably small amount of EXP. Okay. I don't think this is doable because I have to wait a minute for each time I want to do this because I want all my cooldowns to be up when I go into that fight. What about the bog giant? Catch, motherfucker, let's go. I'm here to tango. Beat the crap out of him, come on. Okay, shield of vengeance. Me, somewhat healthy. We're gonna use lay on hands here. Sure enough, probably used bubble because that would have been better, more efficient. 30k health left. We're gonna use some cooldowns here because they're back off of cooldown. Find toll. Keep going, beat the crap out of him, cheat death coming in, and we've killed him. That's 248 EXP. <laughs> That's not, this is not worth doing. Let me grab this sanguine hibiscus and leave instance group before I kill myself by pulling more trash. Okay, I think I am actually not going to queue. I am going to go and do the dragonflight entry quests if I can. I think I can. I think I'm supposed to talk to Abyssian to start that off. So if I can't talk to Abyssian for that, which I can't, then I can't do that. God damn it, I actually have to go and queue for something. Or actually, are there quests I can do within the city? What's this? 8,000 experience to get five windswept balloons from Orgrimmar? Uh, yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think I even get a fucking balloon pet. Hell yeah. Okay, so where the hell are them balloons at? Okay, no, seriously, where the hell are the balloons? <laughs> okay, let's read the quest help. Okay, so they're all over Orgrimmar, so I just need to keep my eyes peeled. Oh, there's one. Okay, so they have the quest outline thing, so I should be able to spot them whenever there's one in actually. Oh, okay, they're right in the middle of the city. Okay, this is gonna be easy. And that is five out of five. Worry not, child. I am going to bring you your balloons. Are you shitting me? I'm missing like 500 EXP. I'm actually going to go fly out of Orgrimmar and get like exploration EXP. Currently, when I discover some new zodes, I'm going to get some EXP. There we go. <laughs> The seal of the Crusader, we're gonna grab that. I'm gonna quickly turn this quest in. I'm not even gonna bother starting the next quest because I really don't need to, because the portal to Waldraken is actually open because I have a level 70 character that has done the quest line. Get my ass in here, get my ass to Waldraken. Where are the Drakes? Show me the Drakes, where are the Drakes? There they are. I had no idea where to look because I'm actually an Alliance player, so I was a bit lost in the sauce there for a second. Oh, very nice. The naked man has finally made it. I am in Valdraken, city of the Drakas. First things first, we're gonna set our home here and we're gonna learn dragon riding. And of course, the next thing we have to do is make sure we customize our Drake. There we go. Now we're looking spicy. That's about as much as customization can allow me to do because I don't have many things unlocked. We are going to vendor the crap we don't need. Oh, we need that bag. Gonna vendor the rest of this. This will go on the auction house. Vendor, vendor, vendor. We're going to quickly equip this to get the transmog. And we're gonna learn the balloon. Just sell the transmog thingy thing now. There we go. And now we can open up all of these satchels. Let's go. Look at the rain of loot. Oh, yes. Haste versatility. That's already a winner. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. This is haste versatility instead of haste crit. I'll take that. Oh, haste versatility feet. Yes, nice. More versatility, less haste. I'll, I'll take that. Yes. Ooh, a cloak with haste versatility. A belt with haste versatility. This game is just blessing me today. Haste versatility bracers. Crit versatility ring. I'll take that. And another crit versatility ring. I'll take that as well. Ooh, legs. Nice. 
That's a big upgrade too. 50 item levels. Oof, we're wearing a lot of clothes. I don't like that. Where's my transmog thing? Actually, I won't use that. I don't want to put it on cooldown. We're going to talk to this transmogger fire. Get rid of that weapon. There we go. Top priority, stay naked. And now we're going to vendor the rest of this because we don't need any of it. Actually, a good bit of gold and a good bit of inventory space. That was all bags over here. Ah, and we got the gold from our Skyless Cuffs that we sold and a few of the relics of Ulduar, 17 of them. That's nice. 8.2k gold and I'm still level 60. All right, chromie time now works until level 61. So I actually need to go and drop the chromie time thing before i can actually queue for heroics or not heroics sorry normal dragonflight dungeons so i guess we have to go back to orgrimmar but i do have a hearthstone here now so i can just hearthstone back we are at item level 183 i think that's about how much you need to be able to queue for normal dragonflight dungeons all right chromie i would like to go back to my present timeline thank you Does that mean i can do yes i can do random dungeon dragonflight oh yeah she's gonna hearthstone back to valdraken real quick and here we are. Well, for the next episode, the goal is to hit level 70, obviously. So we're going to be spamming Dragonflight dungeons until we're able to do that. Unfortunately, there's no time walking going on, so I can't go through time walking dungeons, which would be significantly faster. But I don't think this is going to take too long either. If I'm wrong about it and it ends up taking a very long time, there might be two episodes where I go from 60 to 65 and then from 65 to 70. But it all depends on how much fun stuff is happening in the dungeons. If the dungeons are really boring, I'm just going to edit through them super, super quick. So it's going to be just one episode if they're boring. But if they're really fun and there's a lot of fun things going on, I'm just going to leave a bunch in and then we'll have two episodes. And that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.